Brake bruxism is defined as the grinding or clenching of one's jaw. It causes many serious side effects like grinding down of the teeth, teeth sensitivity, tension headaches and jaw pain. In order to combat this, we implemented a piezo-resistive polymer to observe events of bruxism. The interesting aspect of our project was to not be only be working in conjunction with several different companies, but also to use chemistry to solve a medical problem. Polypyro was chosen as a working polymer because of its specific properties, especially its malleability and conductivity. By using electropolymerization, we coated a copper sheet with polypyro, forming a sensor. This sensor was able to detect forces of 2 Newton. With these results, we provided strong proof of principle for our prototype. The university and the companies that we're working with are very interested in continuing this research in order to get a proof of device. Growing global energy demands and pollution by fossil fuels have led to an intensive search for green renewable energy sources. A promising method is by harvesting energy by means of the photovoltaic effect. We used a quantum chemical approach. This way, we did not only avoid wasting precious chemicals, but we also avoided wasting the yet often overlooked but enormous wasting of energy by brute force computational scans. Importantly, our electronic structure analysis showed that there is a multitude of booby traps for mindless computational scanning. We have found the design principles that can boost energy efficiency of solar cells enormously. We performed fundamental research on organic solar cells by exploring and analyzing the following two molecules, pyromolytic diamide and naphthalene diamide. We added different side groups to see what the influence is on the pi orbital structure of these core systems. The target of our study was to find molecules that absorb photons in the visual and infrared spectrum, as this part of the spectrum has the highest irradiance in sunlight. Another advantage of computational analysis is the understanding of the physical factors uh, behind the trends of absorption frequencies and intensities at the level of orbital electronic structures. It was very inspiring to work on a topic with such a social relevance. Selective drug delivery is the prime challenge in cancer therapy. Our team of three has been handed the opportunity to develop a novel dual recognition delivery system to ensure selective tumor targeting. We have aimed at the engineering of dual directed liposomes and subsequently monitoring their uptake in cancer cells. Equipped with a cyclooctene, the liposomes interact with an incorporated sugar analog of rapidly metabolizing cancer cells. For another layer of specificity, the liposomes are equipped with a peptide containing the RGD motif, thereby targeting overexpressed alpha V integrins on cancer cells. This leads to recognition and engagement of the cancer cell, thereby causing the toxic contents to be delivered to the cancer cells rather than the healthy cells. We have shown that the supramolecular assembly of liposomes containing these two functional groups has in fact been achieved. The chemistry works. We observed enhanced uptake of liposomes containing the DBCO functionality or the RGD peptide functionality in cancer cells as opposed to their healthy counterparts. Interestingly, we saw increased uptake of fully functionalized liposomes by cancer cells containing the unnatural sugar. Further reproduction of these experiments will benefit a final judgment. From our preliminary data, we may speculate that uptake of liposomes with two functionalities is higher than with one or no functionality. With these results as a solid basis, we envision a next generation of bioorthogonal chemistry to enable the development of selective, effective and robust therapies for a variety of diseases. Dual directed liposomes, a plug and play system rendering novel therapeutics. Trips are small insects who feed on a large variety of plants, causing a tremendous loss of crop and money every year. Tomatoes have developed a clever way of defending themselves. Their leaves contain hairs called trichomes, which contain a sticky exudate. When an insect touches the trichome, it breaks open, releasing the exudate. This gets hard and entraps the insect so that it dies. Our goal was to find out why the exudate become hard. To prove the hypothesis, we mixed rutin and various enzymes in an attempt to recreate the reaction. However, using Molotov analysis, we did not find any polymers in the reaction product. 
We wanted to investigate the role of oxygen in the process, but we found out that oxygen did not play a role at all. We now propose that rutin is dissolved in volatiles, which evaporate when the trichomes break open, leaving a rigid substance.